Hey, what's going on guys? I'm Lefty Heat and welcome to a Super Smash Bros. discussion video. Today's topic is Luigi and with Luigi being unveiled as a new character in the game, I am really excited and it is after all the year of Luigi and I'm assuming that this is why Nintendo wanted to bring him into the game and Sakurai wanted to bring him into the game and I have here a special guest, Michael, how are you doing today? Hey, I'm doing good, how are you? Pretty good. His channel is Captain Von Swegenot, and uh, yeah, it's great for you to be here today talking about Luigi. And like I said, it's about time. What are your thoughts on the character Luigi so far? Are you happy he is not a hidden character? Well, like, obviously it wouldn't be a surprise that he is, like, in the game. I mean, like, honestly, the best comparison I've seen is one on one of IGN's posts where someone commented, Wow, this is like Sony announcing, in our new Gran Turismo, there will be cars! <laughs> That's, that's, a, that's, <laughs> that's a good one. Yeah, exactly. But uh, still, it's like the significance of it really is just that, like you said, he's not a hidden character now. Because in the past three games, he's been a hidden character, but now you'll get him from the get-go. So for Luigi fans, that can be a good thing. For some people, they may not like that, but really, it doesn't make much of a difference at all. It just means we just get to see an early look at him before the game comes out. Yeah, we'll have to we'll have to really uh, kind of wait and see what's going on. And now Luigi, as you can see here in the screenshots, everything looks great. The move set, the, his move set looks pretty much the same, and his appearance from Brawl to now this new game is a little bit different. Which appearance did you say, or would you say you like better, the Brawl or the new modernized or modern appearance? I like Brawl for the improvements it made from the previous games, where it looked like much more like a next generation game yeah even though it wasn't in hd but i do like how it is in this newer game much better for the new smash bros just because the colors are much more vibrant and in brawl it made sense with subspace and i was a very dark and airy story <laughs> but i just like it much better in this game how it's a little brighter so it's a lot more like a combination of brawl and melee yeah now speaking of subspace i know sakurai is now saying the cutscenes are going to be removed from the game they didn't even really make cutscenes for the game because he's been focusing on a more uh simplified story mode and also because he has two platforms the wii u and the 3ds are you upset that there are no cutscenes? are you like gonna go crazy because of that or are you okay with it what's going on i mean in a way, because I did like it, but not really too much, because in the end, I mean, the main thing is, if he said he's concentrating on making the game, that's what matters the most, especially for the Wii U, because we'd rather have that come out sooner, because in the state the Wii U is right now, it really needs some big games to come out soon, like, for example, the Mario game yeah. coming out in December, which probably will do very well to help it sell. But right now, the Wii U is in desperate need for some big games, and the new Smash Bros. game will definitely be one of them. So it'd be better that it comes out now than come out in like three years where it gets delayed a ton because they have to make a story for it, and by then the Wii U's dead. Yeah, exactly. It wouldn't matter really much for the 3DS because that'll be fine, but for the Wii U, it makes a difference, really. Exactly. And now, I guess we'll kind of like end this discussion pretty much with uh, leave your comments down below about Luigi are you looking forward to playing as Luigi and just your thoughts and now what character would you like to see revealed next I know I was always saying Pac-Man and I would love to see Pac-Man because Namco is helping out with this game and uh, what would you like to see next which character who would you who would you pick well I'd like to see Gearham replace Toon Link because Toon Link's a clone and I think he's unnecessary and I'm a big fan of Gearham but for okay. another character. Other than that, I would like to see Bowser Jr. because he could use his down special to turn into Shadow Mario, and that would be good because he would be a lot like Zelda and Sheik, and there needs to be another character like that where they can transform mid-game and get a new moveset. And yeah. really, Samus doesn't count because she needs to use the Smash Ball yet. She can't instantaneously do it through her moves. So it'd be good just to add another character like that to the diversity of the game. And yeah. Bowser Jr. fits that category perfectly. That is true. And you were also saying you wanted the girl from Bayonetta? Yes. For a third-party character, I would love to see the girl from Bayonetta come in. A lot of people are talking about how they want Sonic and Snake to return, and I like them. But if they yeah. weren't in, I wouldn't be so sad, because then that would mean we'd mm. get new third-party Yeah, characters. but I, I'm pretty sure Sonic is going to be in there, but we'll have to Actually, see. Actually, right now, most people are saying he won't be in it. Really? Yeah. The, See, I would. Like, I guess it's my. It's a personal thing. I want. I would love Sonic. Well, yeah, to be I would love so him to be me. in it. But I mean, yeah. like, like I said, I wouldn't mind either because that means we'd get new characters to try out now. Like, for example, if 
Sonic and Snake don't get in, then maybe we'd get Mega Man, Pac-Man, and the girl from Bayonetta. And I think the girl from Bayonetta would be good because, I mean, with the new Bayonetta game coming out for the Wii U, it'll help it sell a lot because the Smash Bros. games are really good at getting a lot of games' attention and much more sales. I mean, for example, Icarus true. and Fire Emblem, it would really yeah. help Platinum Games if they got the Bayonetta character into the game. And Sonic, with how he's been going lately, and how Brawl helped him a lot with that, even though some people might not want to admit to that, he yeah. really doesn't need that much help. Snake, he doesn't really either. He got a lot of Nintendo fans to go buy a PS3 just for his game, <laughs> and yes. he doesn't really need any more help. And I don't think we should have Sora join unless we're getting Kingdom Hearts 3, because I don't think he'll deserve any <laughs> else unless we're getting we will, we Wii U. I, I, I love Kingdom Hearts. So I love we'll it see. too, but I'm I mean, just saying, I think we should boycott that till we get that on the Wii U too. Just doesn't that is that is a very good uh, very good reason, actually. They better not put Zor uh, Sora oh, unless they yeah, have a Kingdom Hearts it. ready to go on the Wii U. <laughs> yeah. That's great. But yeah, so yeah, let me know down in the comments below your thoughts. Be sure to check out Michael's channel. Subscribe to both of our channels. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. And we'll see you next time. Thanks for being here, Michael. And looking forward to Luigi. And who is next? We will find out. But until next time, this is Lefty Heat signing out. Video game heat!